All right, what's happening, everybody? We are here. Today we're going to talk about some more speculative stocks. Guys, I'm telling you, I love these. It's just um, use your own discretion. Make up your own mind. But um, this needs to be talked about because... Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember, the, the pot stocks were a real big thing. But, you know, the the whole legalization thing and, and, and all that, it just it, it wasn't as hot as everyone thought it was going to be. This AI thing is a whole different ballgame. So, you know, you may have got screwed on some of those pot stocks or whatever it is. But let me tell you, this AI thing is not a joke. Okay, I work for a very large uh, tech consulting company. I can tell you the things that are happening and things that are coming. It's just, you're not gonna, your head, it would make your head spin. So when I tell you, okay, there's a couple little stocks here that I wanna focus on. And I could talk about some of these other stocks too that are, you know, super speculative. But what I want you to think about is specifically, okay, um, some of these AI stocks, specifically these these two I'm going to focus on. Um, AITX, the Artificial Intelligence Technology Fund, and ESIFF, Art of AI Artificial Intelligence Ventures. Okay, so I'm just going to open up, we're just going to go to find Google Finance. We take a look. Okay, I want you guys to think about this, okay? This is the, the, we are at the very, very beginning. So, um, this company, AI Artificial Intelligence Ventures, out of Vancouver, British Columbia, let's just check out their website. You can see that, um, let's see, when did it, uh, Let's see, it came on the scene in 2019, went down from 63 cents. It's been kind of lingering, had a little jump to 90 cents. It's an indicator, a little spike, could be an indicator. You know, if you guys are really into technical analysis on stocks, I, wanna, I want your comments, because this is not my wheelhouse, but I know what's coming in the artificial intelligence space, and I'm loading up on these stocks, because you just never know. And... So here's the thing. So if we can get some financials here. Okay, we've had some negative, negative, positive, positive, negative. Okay, so it's had a couple negative quarters, a couple positive quarters. Um, what is this company? Environmental, social, and governance. Three central factors in measuring sustainability, societal impact, investment in a company or business. Okay, so global impact. Let's see. So it looks like these guys are it's acquiring 14 million common shares, 25 cents. Looks like this company is focusing on using AI for environmental governance. Let's see, what is their portfolio? Let's just take a look. There's not a whole lot of information. And to be real, there's usually not a whole ton of information. Um, you know, if you guys know anything about any of these people, um, we could dig real deep into it, look at the backgrounds and history of, of the uh, board here, but let's see what what they are saying here. The company will review opportunities in various industry groups primarily aligned with the 17 UN development goals as detailed upon the following link. Okay, this means that they're gonna invest in UN aligned AI solutions. This is huge. Okay, that means they're looking to solve these major problems with AI that has never been done before. We're seeing globalization, we're seeing the technological advancement, 
of third world countries at unprecedented rate. So let's see the 17 goals here of the UN. Dealing with poverty, hunger, health, education, gender equality, water and sanitation, clean energy, work and economic growth, industry, innovation, infrastructure, reducing inequalities, sustainable communities, reducing consumption, climate action, ocean, uh, trees and environmental concerns, and inclusive societies, innovations within institutions, and global partnership for sustainability. This is huge. Guys, if you understand what is happening, um, <laughs> it looks like they're also throwing in their uh, consumer products and mineral ex exploration. If you understand what AI can do and the, and the fact that we barely even are scratching the surface of what is possible with it, this is, you know, I'd say it's a, it's a safe speculation to get in on these two particular companies. And guys, if you know other AI stocks, please comment. Because these are the only two that I've been kind of looking at that are OTC market stocks um, that have potential. ESIFF and then AITX. So let's take a look at AITX. Okay, this is, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's not even a quarter of a cent. So I'd, I'd love some feedback if you guys have any idea. Um, but we're just going to look at their website. What are they doing? Yeah, okay. So this is the company that is investing in smart technology, uh, robotic-assisted devices. Um, this is another area that really needs to be looked at. You guys got to understand robotics is a sleeping giant. AI is a sleeping giant that everyone's talking about, but robotics is a massive sleeping giant, um, especially in terms of assisted devices, right? So there's a whole, you've already seen the food delivery, you know, things that are, you know, rolling down the street in California and, and some of this shit. Um, you know, this is just an idea of some of the products um, solar robotics, um, security patrol, um, you know, signage, um, guys, this is, this is not to be slept on. I'm telling you right now, this is, this is the, this is the liftoff warning. You got a chance to get in on this. Um, these companies are sleeping giants in my opinion so there's that um we could talk about other stocks this was really specifically focused on um ai this is one that we could look at but this company is not as credible next gen food robotics Corp. uh ngrbf so let me explain this one so this one looked a little interesting to me uh, because, I mean, it's another one out of Vancouver. But the thing that was weird with this is it's just it, it just looks like a, a ghost kitchen. And they somehow it's, you know, it's just a small co-packer. Um, so I don't see a huge growth potential with it. That's not to say it's not a good investment. Um, you know, it's interesting, but they're, they're basically, it's basically a robotics. They're applying robotics to, to co-packing and food manufacturing. Interesting company to look at. Um, but I wouldn't compare it to the same and that's NGRBF. Um, INPX, this one, let's take a look. Forget INPX is, um, Five cents a share, guys, in Palo Alto, California, in, in Pixon, real-time location systems, indoor intelligence. Okay, so this is 
digital supply chain. I mean, this this could be one not to sleep on as well. Um, digital supply chain, smart warehousing, mining operations. Um, you know, th these are this is uncharted territory, guys. I'm telling you, it's uncharted territory. Get behind these companies. You know, take a risk. Um, in my opinion, I'm not a financial advisor or investment advisor or anything like that, but I would take a look at those uh, companies. I, I talked in a different video about Interscope Hearing Technologies, you know, kind of a smaller opportunity, IMTL, that kind of fizzled out with the whole NFT thing. It is what it is. You win some, you lose some. But um, these guys, um, AITX and ESIFF, get on get on board maybe next gen robotics um decentral life i mean this one let's let's look at this one um this was related this was another nft stock um decentral life this was this was trying to capitalize on the metaverse and it, 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 you know look ai robotics infrastructure, digital supply chain, that's as solid as you can get. The NFTs and the weed stocks and this, you know, this type of stuff that the metaverse thing, I mean, you know, it, it doesn't have as much valuable application in commerce yet. Doesn't mean it's not going to be useful. Doesn't mean it's not going to be valuable, but it does just doesn't have the same um, depth of value in commerce at this point in time, right? Whoever cracks the code with AI, digital supply chain, you got to understand that's a multi-billion dollar code to crack. You're cracking the code to the, you know, those, those UN initiatives, multi-billion dollar code to crack. You know, metaverse, it's a nice to have. You know, we, you know, oversaturated. It's a nice to have. People don't really care about it as much as they thought. Now, CBD, it's a different story. I think people it's higher adoption, but again, it's still it's it's not as big of an impact on commerce. So when you're looking at money, you have to follow commerce. To follow the money, you have to follow commerce. So you know this one was interesting. Decentral life using blockchain and AI, and you know who knows? Maybe it'll still go somewhere. You guys can look at that WDLF. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is I want to bring awareness to robotics and I want to bring awareness to AI. So I would definitely look at, look into these AITX, ESIFF, NGRBF, INPX. Um, you know, you can play around with some of the other ones. I don't know, you know, like, look, these are, these are speculative investments. This was just, uh, you know, throw something at the wall and see what happens to it. So. Don't hold me to it. But um, another one out the blue that I like is, is Farmer Bros. This is just a coffee distributor. Coffee's a commodity, um, you know, way out of left field here, but I just, it's worth talking about that. You know, this company has been around since like 1911 or something like that. They're not going out of business. Um, and so there's significant upside in my opinion. Uh, but again, these are speculative investments. This is not you know, typically I would, I would say if you're going to buy stocks, buy dividend stocks, um, buy them at a good price and hold them, you know, this is because I want to, but look at this. I mean, you can buy this stock. It has a, a max price in, in the $30 range. It's gone up and down over the years, um, but they're not going out of business. You know, a company that's been around this long, they're just not going out of business, 1912. So right there, founded in 1912. So, you know, a pretty big bargain, if you ask me, you know, for a company that's not going to go out of business, um, just throwing that one out there. But again, the point of this video is to focus on those AI stocks and robotics. Um, here's another one that's very fascinating, guys, and this is Sun Hydrogen, HYSR. It's the last one I'm going to talk about. HYSR. Very, very interesting. Okay. Again, the entry point, it's, a, it's, a, it's one cent a share. So if you, you know, you know, take a flyer. Um, the, this company has been around for a little while. What this, what they do is very fascinating. They have a way of extra of using sun to extract hydrogen. 
The hydrogen is not adopted widely as a alternative fuel source yet, but there is a lot of promise. And um, so what do they have? They have a pro prototype of green hydrogen technology. So I don't know if you get it. You probably won't hear the music or sound, but I'll tell you guys. So what he's saying is that it uses the sun, it's using solar to split water into hydrogen. I mean, who knows if this company is going to be around for long, but seriously, you guys, if you've seen this stuff back in the 90s, the guys making the water powered cars and, you know, um, being able to, to get hydrogen out of water is a really big deal. It's a massive deal. I mean, now you're talking about free energy in a way that, you know, this is, this is not a joke, okay? Um, so this is something worth looking into. It's really fascinating. So it, you guys go on the website and watch the video yourself if you're interested. Um, but there you have it. I would, I would take a look at these stocks, guys, INPX, NGRBF, um, AITX, ESIFF, and HYSR. I would take a look. Um, anyways, I hope this is interesting. If you guys have opinions, again, I'm not a technical chart or analyst guy for stocks, but um, these I'm just very interested in what's happening in the world. And I think that if you can get ahead of it, it is a good time to do so. So let me know your thoughts. If you have any similar stocks or stock tips um, or companies that are interesting to you, leave it in the comments. And I would love to hear from you. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day.